Yellow. 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 Yellow.
<laughs> Why is it so loud in there? What the fuck? Who doesn't like a nice, uh, you know, little bit of deafening? How, is there settings? Like, can I turn the fucking volume down? Jesus Christ. How do I turn the fucking volume down? I'm gonna have to do it in Windows. Give me a sec. Oh, where's my mouse? There it is. There you go. That's probably better. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> Follow the rules. Why am I? I'm just walking forwards. What's happened? <laughs> Who needs to solve puzzles? Game's too hard, I'm lost, I can't I can't figure it out. Kubla Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home, and even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table, a fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head, and when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back three hundred ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, 
Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. I haven't done a single maze. It's like, I feel like that's like part of the joke. <laughs> oh no, they figured me out. Stinky bum. draw on anything else. I don't know I don't know why for whatever reason like my my twitch stream goes like blocky sometimes and I don't like I've got no idea why it's literally like my, I, I've got my bitrate set on the maximum that twitch will let me like I, I literally cannot upgrade it anymore and it just it just does not like it It's 1440p, but then when I do this, the bitrate, you know, it goes a bit, it goes a little bit blocky. Like, yes, it's 1440p, but it goes blocky. Like, it looks great when I'm not moving. It's just when I start moving that that's when there's a problem. Hmm. Can I just, like... Deep. Whoop. Something just... Something just said beep. Did anyone else hear that? What happened? Stop saying beep! Stop saying beep! I'm not interested in your fucking beep! Hmm. 
deep. There isn't like a, it doesn't spell end in here somewhere. No. Beep. Stop Beep. beeping it. Beep. Hmm. Beep. 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 Bell for BS just subscribe. Beep. 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 You're right there. I mean beep. 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 Oh, thing in. Beep. Okay. Beep. 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 Come on. Beep. 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 Yes. Beep. Beep. I'm going beep. to where you beep me. Beep. Beep. Is it yes. beeping? There we go. Fucking dumbass beep asshole, just fucking beep at me, bruh. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. I've got no idea what the solve for that was. I have literally no fucking clue. <laughs> what the? I, I genuinely no idea. Zero clue what the solve for that was. You just get angry and just start scribbling. I'm trying to figure it out. Like what? I have no idea. <laughs> Whatever. Oh. Who's this weird? I'm trapped. The door closed.
Uh, I'm not sure, Kate. It didn't seem to work today. I've got no idea why. So I assume I need to make the the pin like run to make these things line up. But I'm pretty sure I've. Ah! Ah! It might be, well, my Discord seems to be up, but it might be because there's issues with Discord, so maybe. Nope, okay. Whoa! Imagine gravity is fractal, because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity, and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity, and it makes them super heavy, so they have super strength, but like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be Ultraviolet Girl, and she has super speed so she beats him. And it, like, also gave her giant cans. <laughs> Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. Well. Giant cans. That's very original. No, try putting some more loops on it. I like it, but it's also kind of too red. Well, can I change my color? It simply must have more loops. Having paint at the edge of the canvas makes you look desperate. Try again. This isn't the MoMA. We can afford more loops. Could you, um... Draw less. It just needs more red, I think. Try adding some more uh, stuff. Unless it's finger paint, don't paint off the edges of the canvas. I can tell you're trying to say something about capitalism, but do it with more loops. Not having loops is very outdated. I Read Hegel. Loops. You need more loops. One loop, two loop, three loop, four loop, five loop, six loop, seven loop. It's not a fur coat. Stop dumping paint on it. Oh. Now you have too many loops. Ah. <sighs> What? Put some more fucking loops. Loop, loop, loop. No, I needed least loops. Too many loops. 
Alright. Well, this is probably the way, but I'm gonna pull a mark and I'm gonna go this way instead. Loops. Ooh! Ooh, look! Ooh, look! There's a telescope. I assume I have to get up here down. I have to go down first because there's I can't turn it on apparently. There's no interact button. Uh, I clicked on the telescope, but there's no interact button. So. do that oh well well that was well that was good <laughs> oh fucking a dude i just realized chat's not working why is chat not working is Streamlabs down? The telescope moved now. You can check it out with the loops. Just chat, that's not working. Strange. How do I even? I can't remember how to fucking get chat. Where, where chat even comes from? Uh, this one. Copy. Oh no, cancel. No, I mean chat's not on the stream. Like on the screen, I should say. Loop, 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 loops, loopy loops. Okay, there we go, I fixed it. Unfortunately, the the fish list needs to be updated because a couple of them have actually died, uh, sadly. So, I'm lucky. Yeah, a bunch of them got sick, and so I, I'm, I'm, I'm updating it right now, but yeah, a bunch of the fish no got sick and all, and all died, it's actually sad. So, that one, that one, uh, there's only one of them. Uh, oh, there you go, it's updated. Don't listen to Rowan. Yeah, there you go. Unfortunately. 
All right, let's keep playing this game. Okay. So I can't. So I guess that was a. Uh, I looked at the telescope and that was it. Rowan says, "Fuck you, Mark. You piece of shit." There's going to be a lot more fish coming once the new fish tank is set up, though, which is going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be like 30 new fish because <laughs> it's a big tank. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. Grandmaster Bobby Fisher. I see, I see, I see. Okay, well, that's a back rank mate, so... I think. Okay. Uh, they just wanted me to do all of them. Okay, I, uh, I understand now. I, I was just like, what? I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. <laughs> okay. World champion, Bobby Fischer. So I assume that's like finished. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't do, you know, I can't. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. A master cannot see the bishop on e3 as a chunk of dead wood any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colors and shapes. The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. International Master Stuart Rachels, The Reviled Art. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, this even though it should sucks. put him at Mark great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways 
he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and Big Ship is always trying to get one over on the little guy. Further, we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. The crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism. And the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. What the hell was I talking about? That man, Albert Einstein. I heard something like, did I hear a door open? Was this door? Oh. Uh, did this door? This door must have opened. Ooh. Ooh. Can't play. I fucked it again. <laughs> This is dumb, there's no reason for me to do that.
Fuck! Oh, never mind. Okay, I just needed to do that one. Sick. Still missing like one of the puzzles here, right? I think. Yeah, I'm still missing this this one here that comes from the chessboard. Oh, I see. Go on, get... Don't look at me. Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. All right, all right. I'll tell you my story. It was June the 8th, 1947. Gray morning, slightly foggy. I had my own practice then, and I was living higher than a cosmonaut on a stepladder. My hints were subtle too, real subtle. Back then, they said, good old hint button. His hints could steal the tail off a weasel. Then they tossed me in the can. No what, no why, no how. Those were the mean times. When all the common sense in the world won't make a nickel to buy you a black coffee. I used rope to tie my pants and pants to tie my shoes. I may do the way a man does. Until one day, after stealing the socks off a fireplace, I caught my own look in a puddle of bootleg rye and realized I had to do what I'd never done before. I gave myself a hint. So that's me. I was nothing but a downtown crumb who dreamed of being a whole sandwich. Now I'm just another sloppy Joe. Come back when you got something. Come back when you got a good one. Okay. <laughs> Before we proceed, I'm gonna go check out what's down the other end of the starting hallway because I got hard, I didn't go all the way down just to make sure. Do, 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 do. Nope. Because this was really loud when I went down here the first time.
behind me what? Yeah, it's that's how you delete your save file. did exactly what it said it would. The madman. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Matt. <sighs> well, <laughs> fucking actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, we're speed running this one, boys. We've unlocked sprint, let's go. Kubla Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home, and even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table, a fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head, and when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. Beep. 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 You're right there. I mean, beep. 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 Come on, beep. Isn't it beep. this one? Or is it this one? Beep. Beep. I don't remember which one it was. Beep. 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 Yes, beep. Beep. Beep, yes, beep. Go on, get. Don't look at me. It's get very important. All right, all right. Back when you got a good one.
Sprint! Why can't I run? About to fucking peep these corners. Get fucked, idiot! I missed. One, two, three. No, try putting some more loops on it. One, two, three, four. Now you have too many loops. What? It simply must have more loops. This isn't the MoMA. We can afford more loops. I like loops too, but this is too many. I can tell you're trying to say something about capitalism, but do it with more loops. Not having loops is very outdated. Read Hegel. I like it, but it's also kind of too red. You need more loops. All right, gonna do this one real quick. Ah! 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 Oh God! Ah! Uh, oh, why did I do that? Uh, Oh. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical, so that we can have a single reality whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. This brings us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical event or feels you can only get good at chess. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. The master cannot see the bishop. I hate chess. I hate chess. Me too. I hate chess. Me too. I fucking hate World chess. World champion, Bobby Fischer. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways, he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money, when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. I missed! Oh Who wait, what? They're all him? wait. I was I fucked something this, up. That his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and big ship is always going to get one over on the little guy. Further, we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. The crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism. And the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. What the hell was I talking about?
fuck them up again. Oh no, that's not good. Oh my god, it's fucking... Oh my god! <laughs> I keep fucking out of the fucking... Oh my god. Oh fuck off. Okay. Oh my god, stop clicking. I don't play FPS's for a reason. Oh my god, this is so stupid. I know the door's open, I'm not retarded. Oh my god. What?! It's so bad. It's so... It's so fucking bad. Stop clicking out of the fucking...
Oh my god, that I don't even know, am I missing something? Is this like, is this supposed to do? It's kind of like a smiley face, I don't know. Oh, it's, it probably, it's playing, it's, it's playing different music that I couldn't hear because of this thing. <laughs> Anyway, there you go, boys. Six twenty five. Big maze. Mm. Ah, shortcut. Okay. Mm. Oh, is this going to open up a laser? <laughs> It is. <laughs> oh, did you get a prediction started for my score? <laughs> Uh, the reason why I went for that high score is because there's a achievement to get 600 points in, in that game. So, so you can you can mark that one as a prediction outcome. Yes, they had did get a high score. <laughs>
Ah, this is, we're back here again. Ah, but this has probably turned on the stuff upstairs? No. Wait, it's fucking spinning around. <laughs> Oh, I do, I do I need to, like, change its angle or something? What the fuck was that noise? Did it, did it finish doing its thing? Ah, okay, yeah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> what the f They've really just went like, ah, fuck you guys. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what any of these fucking symbols mean. <laughs> hmm. There's obviously needs to be a clue or something around here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like, what the fuck is this? Like, am, am I supposed to have played, like... Is this a joke that, like, you have to play the witness to understand what to do? Like... I mean, only one of the, uh, two of these, I guess, is a, uh, is a witness, uh, symbol. It t it's- oh, wait, am I not supposed to be here yet? The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical I play this one? so that we can have a single reality. Imagine gravity is fractal, because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave, so imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity, and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity and it makes them super heavy so they have super strength, but like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's one. about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be ultraviolet girl, and she has super speed so she beats him, and it, like, also gave her giant cans. Kublai Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no oh, item remains not just where drops. it if one you guys have you have to watch it dirt, later. I mean, we're playing this game. But... And even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table. You can do it. I believe in you. Drift into the maze. Skirt. Skirt. Skirt.
Skr <laughs> Bro, this fucking maze. Skirt, skirt, skirt. <laughs> oh no. It's too fucking loud up here, Jesus Christ. So I need to go that way. And then, I guess, like, loop back that way, I guess. I don't know, let's just go fuck around in the maze. We'll figure it out eventually. I knew, I know where I'm going. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. So I also saw there was an achievement for like something called like a great book challenge or something. And maybe that's what this is, I don't actually know. Okay, so you can go through the foot. Probably avoid the diamonds. No. Go through the diamonds? Okay. Go through the moon and the timepiece. Okay. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I've lost interest already.
this then? No. Is it just avoid the down triangle? But in this order? Or is it that triangle first? What the fuck? <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna freak out. given this to me in the first I mean there's only one pathway right like And this is the beginning again, right? Yeah, that's just the beginning again. Oh, I've lost my mouse. What happened to my mouse? There it is. Okay, well. Okay, so I got an achievement for that. What is that? Student? Solved all pages in the great book. Okay. Is there a is there an audio recorder?
Uh, James, I've said it uh, a billion times. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with my bitrate, but it even ha happens in Final Fantasy. Just whenever I uh, on 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 YouTube, it's great. It's perfect. On Twitch, uh, whenever I move, uh, bitrate gets scuffed up. No idea why. I've literally got my bitrate set to the max it can possibly go, and yeah, that's it. I've given up on trying to fix it. I just, I wish Twitch would let me use more bits, but it, it doesn't. It literally won't let you use more bits. This is a completely different game. The game is in the title. Can't remember how to get back up to the tower. I don't know how to get back up to the tower. Yeah, I have no idea how to fix the fucking this bitrate issue. I don't know. It's uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's actually pissing me off. But like, but like, I don't know what to change. I've got. I've got my my settings set on on high. I've tried highest quality. I've tried um, highest performance. My bit rate's on six thousand, which is the highest that Twitch will let me do. Like my YouTube stream is is great quality. It's like incredible quality, no problems. I don't know. Like the key, I could. I don't know. Ah, fuck UK. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know what a, I don't even know what a keyframe interval is, or what max B frames even means, so I have no idea to, if I should change one or not. No idea. Let me Google it. Keyframes, OBS. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll, do you want me to, I'll just spin around it. There you go, yeah. Like, yeah, I've got absolutely no idea why it does it, but, you know. My, for comparison, my YouTube stream is 20,000, uh, bits and my twitch is 6000 and 6000 gets a bit crunchy whenever i rotate my screen and i don't know how to fix it but youtube does not i don't know let's change this is apparently the best settings i don't know Do not know. So now, do I remember the order of this? So it was start and then moon and then it was green arrow. But does this green arrow the same as purple arrow? I've got no fucking clue. And then it was like dino. Oh no, this is gonna be a fucking.
God damn it. Fucking... Help! 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 Where the fuck is my line broken? Oh! Found it! <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Is it really just like... Ah, oh, so I can't... I can't go over the black. What can I... What can I... I'm not trying to solve it. I'm just trying to figure out what I can and can't uh, draw on. So I can go this way. There's a black, so... So I can go, like... From, like, here up. Maybe? Is there a... I can't tell. That looks like that works. I can go like this. <laughs> okay, can I go... I can go... 
Hmm, there's a gap here. I feel like it has to, it has to go like this somehow, and then go around somehow, but there's like this bar in the way here. Maybe up here somewhere? There's no way of crossing. Okay, so it's, it snaps. Okay, so it does snap into place. I thought maybe it was a different angle kind of thing, but it snaps into place, so... Oh wait, where did those leaves come from? On the on the on the top of the I don't recall seeing those leaves there. Uh. Okay, there's a gap here I need to a gap somewhere. There we go. Wait. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of in the shape of a dick. <laughs> It's a giant cop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a fucking good game, honestly. That's actually so funny. <laughs> oh, actually, it's just a giant cock. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. That's actually so good. Did I, I I missed an achievement. I need to. I I didn't find one of the or, the uh, audio. I'm gonna go to the toilet. This has got to be.
be some kind of whiz with the computers. Good <laughs> stack of penny. I would never hurt you. Let's see. Easy one. Oh, there you go. I got the achievement. <laughs> Success. How's this? Nerd shit. Nerd shit. Now that's a book. Oh, what a game. Uh, one more puzzle before retirement. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. it. Just, it just closed. It, just, it literally just closed. Okay. Wait, did it just like delete my save and then? <laughs> I I missed an audio recording somewhere. I want the- I want a hundred- oh god- god fucking damn it! <laughs> fucking asshole! Ugh. <laughs> Absolute fucking asshole. Oh, <laughs> I need the 100%. I can't just leave it. Leave this fucking game sitting. I wonder if it'll, like, save my, uh... I think I missed this one. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for, but never finding... Better deal than 0% APR on certified pre-owned vehicles. For trucks tougher than a drunk marine, come to Mike's Pre-Owned, where we do the things that get things done. Alright. Well, <laughs> that was a... Oh yeah, I just realized. That's fucking... Uh... Kubla Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home, and even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table, a fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head. And when he was asked his name, he searched.
Imagine gravity is fractal. Now you have too many loops. No, try putting some more loops on it. It simply must have more loops. This isn't the MoMA. We can afford more loops. I like loops too, but this is too many. I can tell you're trying to say something about capitalism, but do it with more loops. Not having loops is very outdated. Read Hegel. You need more loops. Your line needs more loops. I don't even know. Cut like, down on the loops. What People am I are going to think you're a classicist. That's very original. You need more loops. <laughs> I genuinely don't understand. Like, how many... Like, why is that... Whatever. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades, a genuine effort is... Imagine gravity is fractal. Because light is just a wave, and gravity is just a wave, so imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's, like, blue gravity and yellow gravity, and then uh, somebody gets hit uh, by the red gravity, oh and it God, makes them super uh, heavy, so they have super strength, but, like, they're also uh, really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be ultraviolet girl, and she has super speed so she beats him. And it, like, also gave her giant cans. Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. The master cannot see the bishop on E3 as a chunk of dead wood any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colors and shapes. The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. The there ship owner was about to send to a venerable old ship. 100% we can he fucking get the shit out of this Paul, goddamn however, game. He knew had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions. Well, that was fun. <laughs> 100 percentile, 100 percent of that fucking absolute, absolute something. I don't know what the fuck it was. Oh, God. Literally the rank one. Rank one witness, rank one look at. Okay, now. I was planning to go on to... The Final Fantasy MSQ, but we could do a we could do a let's watch of Mark's Hollow Knight video. How long is it? Let me see. Let me have a look. It's only twenty minutes. Do you guys want to? Should we do Hollow Knight episode two? Uh, should we watch Hollow Knight or should we play Final Fantasy?